I'm, I'm a hump on a bone stack and drill up a hill, baby trying to get a meal, Mary. Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's Omega, and this marks the first time I'm really doing anything like this. And today I am going to be showcasing on why the DMR 14 is actually a pretty good gun. You know, I'm just gonna be using it and stuff and talking about it as I'm using it and really why people um, diss it so much, you know? Yeah, if you enjoy this, please do like and uh, enjoy the video. All right, now the DMR itself, the base stats for it are not so bad. As you can see, like the damage is pretty good. The speed and range are both basically the same. Mobility, not so great. But with attachments I have on it, you know, the firepower, speed, accuracy, all go above and beyond. And just the ammo, you know, it goes up by like 10. So it's pretty good. Now, what I use on it, I use everything besides um, the body because I don't really like using lasers. You know, gunfighter, I use gunfighter for it so I can add three additional attachments. And usually those are just go immediately into accuracy and speed, never really into ammo or firepower because it's already pretty good and mostly I just use you know normal secondaries I don't really use MAC 10s or snipers with the DMR 14 I'm not one to use the DMR 14 that much but when I do you know it's pretty fun search and destroy all right all right Now, obviously, I'm not the best um, at commentary. You know, I'm good at talking while I'm playing a game, but I'm not good at playing the game while I'm talking. Bro, like, every single time I get killed, I just get shot in the back, man. Do you know what's weird? I had learned, like, I learned this a long time ago, but when I played Mom for 3 when I was way younger, like, 10 or 11, I think. You know, obviously, you could easily tell how KD was and how it worked with the ratio and stuff. Because at a young age, you're already learning about it, really. And you're just basically dividing the amount of kills you have by the amount of deaths you have. And it's very interesting. And that, like, perspective. You know what I'm saying? Spy plane it's very interesting, overhead. to be honest. I like hardcore way more than freaking um, normal because it's just like obviously it's easier to kill people and like it's not really hardcore then to kill people you know and I'm not bad at like uh I'm not bad at normal mode I'm pretty good if I'm using the right weapons but since I'm using the DMR 14 and I, I like never use it Obviously, I'm not the best with it. But if I get more practice with it, then obviously I'll get pretty good. I mean, just look at my shots right now. Someday, that'll just be only headshots, guarantee. Hostile RC. It's hard to tell. Bro, are you really laying down? Get on the ground. You look like Andy's toys, my guy. Oh my goodness. Enemy spike plane Get on the ground, bro. Like I swear to God, if I if I didn't kill him right then and there, he would just lay down the ground. I'm just gonna so good, but look, just look. Okay? Enemy spike plane inbound. But, but, hear me out, hear me out, okay, hear me out. Wow. So like kind of like what that guy's using, I like assault rifles way more. You know, the FFAR is like a way just, it's just a way better gun, man. Not in the terms of like, you know, damage or rate of fire or anything. Well, actually no, rate of fire, just like way better. But like, I mean like, it just feels smoother, you could say. You know, everyone has their own different opinion in types of gun they use, and people that use the same gun, 
you know, usually you tend to just stick with that gun the whole entire time and not try anything new. You know, I can't really stick with one gun only because it makes me feel like I'm not really playing the game. You know, unless it's like one gun, like a sniper, obviously, you know, there's not much to choose from and usually you choose the best sniper because snipers is, you know, the choice. You know, it's, a, it's the OG choice, you know, the Black Ops 2 thing. We have taken the lead. Like, I remember back in Black Ops 2, honestly, in Black Ops 2, there were so many modders, man. So many modders, you just couldn't... We are in the lead. With the game, bro. Also, I can't get this turret because the people just keep coming up behind me. Oh, thanks, you man. Hostile artillery targeting active. Eyes on enemy rocks line. Man, switch guns, really. War machine going up. They are ahead. Craig 9, I'll have to try that at some point. Artillery targeting detected. Head call, incoming artillery. Enemy spike plane. No scope. You know, obviously, if this was hardcore, I'd be one-tapping people all over the place, let's be honest. Like, tap, 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 tap. It's just, it's so much easier. And that's the thing about hardcore. Hardcore doesn't make you better, it just makes you worse at the actual normal one. Like, hardcore is obviously more realistic. Because in real life, it would not take like five bullets to kill someone. RTB, DJI. We'll Let's be honest. Regret this day. And hardcore just takes like one bullet, and usually that's all it takes to kill someone. Nobody. People that think they're invincible to guns and stuff. They're crazy, bro. Oh my goodness. They don't know what they're talking about. Alright, uh, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like and don't forget to comment in the description below on what you think of this gun, rating 1 out of 10. And also, if there's any guns that you want me to do in the next video, whichever one is a top comment, that's the one I'll do. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I'm a hump on a bone, Jack and Jill, up a hill, baby, trying to get a meal, Mary.